Hey, hello, hi, uh, this is iTalk here, and today we're gonna be talking about the brand new Fortnite Chapter 3 Season 4, and I've gotta say that I am very pleasantly surprised with how well this season is shaping up to be. Now, I know it's just my first impressions, as well as we're gonna be going over all the things that they changed and stuff like that. I still wanna talk about it with you guys, and honestly, I have positive things to say about this season. Uh, vibing last season, I was not vibing. I'm sorry, I just was not really enjoying that season, but I'm happy to say that this season Season, right away I already enjoy it way more than what we had with the previous season a mysterious substance has appeared on the island chrome will consume all and chrome will be all embrace the chrome by turning structures chrome making yourself chrome and proving the power of chrome weaponry not even wood stone and brick or metal is a match for chrome an enemy built structure for defense throw a chrome splash at the walls to make the walls penetrable jump right through the building and get the drop on your opponent so that's one of the new items we have is the chrome splash it's like the main item of this season i think it's a pretty fun little thing throw down a chrome splash to chromify yourself and you'll be pure chrome for a limited time meaning you'll be immune to fire damage and you become a blob while you sprint you'll move faster be immune to fall damage as well and gain the ability to air dash dash into any building piece to chromify it then phase through it so it's a little complicated with how they have it with the phasing and stuff like that i'm still getting used to it it's not like a pick up and play sort of thing like you kind of have to get a feel for how the chrome works but it doesn't take that long to figure out but it takes a little bit like it's not going to be like something that you're going to easily know exactly how to do it all they also say ascend herald's sanctum near the abandoned sanctuary and stand atop the tower of honorable and hexagonal foundations so this kind of reminds me of the spot that we had back in chapter 2 season 8 I believe with all the cubes and stuff on the ground and stuff that's kind of like what I get this feeling from at least from this location and stuff then moving on from that we do have some more high ground locations that we had back like in chapter 3 season 2 except it doesn't look as military-esque and it's also pretty cool we got the cloudy condos which is an expanding POI and also we have the D launcher which is available all around the island where it allows us to basically get through storm it's actually a pretty neat little thing I actually used it backwards by accident and I actually died of the storm because of that so make sure that you look at it and see where it's going to launch you and not go backwards with it unless you need to go backwards but yeah just don't do what I did also we have some new weapons we have the Evo Chrome shotgun which I won't lie I'm not feeling it. I mean, it's fun to use, which is good, but like, it's just not good in my opinion. And then we have the Evo Chrome Burst Rifle, which I think is better. And yeah, basically what you have to do is that you increase the rarity by doing more damage to enemies and you're able to upgrade it, which is a cool idea, except it's kind of hard for me to get damage done because the shotgun just doesn't do a lot but that's kind of how i feel about it. the burst rifle is definitely a lot better they did bring back some weapons from the last season actually quite a lot of them as i look at it basically here's everything that we have in the loop pool right now and i'm happy that it's not as crazy as it was before because it was really bad before so i'm happy they took out a lot of these kind of useless items that we had for the previous season so i'm happy that they're actually like you know updating it and then also they buffed the snipers the snipers now do one shot headshot again thank you thank you for doing that i don't know why they got rid of it in the first place actually well i kind of do i know people don't like dying to one shot headshots i get that it is very frustrating it's a sniper if you hit someone in the head you should kill them and even in zero build it will always one shot to the head so you got to be a bit more careful now whenever you play these modes because you never know like someone could just be peeking you and you would never know it and you would just die in one shot so now you have to play a lot more safe than you used to because before you didn't really have to worry about it because again snipers were not one shot there was no one shot in the game and you were fine but with snipers now they are they also buffed the damage on the boom sniper rifle by increasing its explosive damage just thought i would mention that there we have keys on the island now and the way you get them is it's just floor loot as well as it's in some chests and you can open up these different vaults there's actually two different kinds of vaults there's the low security and the high security the low security requires one key and the high security costs two keys 
And I'm happy that they're doing something like this instead of having like your whole team with you to scan in to get into the vaults that they had before. Because that was really irritating getting everyone together. And half the time people didn't even do that, especially if you were playing fills. So this is a good solution. Just have it so it's just a key based system. And yeah, I think that the vaults as well are extremely good. I feel like the vaults from previous seasons have been really lackluster. But this season, they've been cranked up to 11. They're actually really worth it this time. We have a new port of fort thing. It's called the port of bunker. And this is pretty cool. It's a one by one sort of structure. And it's got like a ramp, doors, and it's got some tires on the front so you can like bounce ahead if you need to. And I think it's a really neat little thing. Happy to have this in zero build, especially because I think it deserves that. I don't know why it would be in the main mode, even though it is. I don't know why it's really there. I think it's better to just be a no build specific item. Then we have the battle pass. My lord, this battle pass was really good in my personal opinion. Obviously, I'm not going to love everything in the battle passes, but I do like a majority of the stuff that we had. I'll quickly go over the skins and kind of give like my first impressions about the skins. First skin was the Paradigm Reality 659. We have Paradigm already. It was an exclusive item shop skin. And I feel like Fortnite really regrets making that an item shop skin and an exclusive one at that. So yeah we already have this so i like the original paradigm way more because like the blade on the arm is cooler and i just like the original paradigm more that's just kind of how i feel about it then we also have the bite skin which this actually is probably my favorite male skin in the battle pass i just love the clothing scheme here it gives me a lot of like little peep vibes with like the vest and the tech wear it's just really cool then we have the grizz skin this is kind of like the meme skin and it's probably my least favorite, but it's still, like, funny to me. It's not all that bad, but it's definitely not one I'm going to be running a lot. Then we have the Meow Skulls, which is actually Meow Soul's sister, and it's a really cool skin again. You got the goth beanie look. You got, like, the, again, the clothing scheme really is something that I mess with, so a really cool little feature there. Then we have the Lennox Rose skin, which is the anime skin for this season. And I do like how they didn't go too crazy with the cell shading because I know a lot of people are divisive on the cell shading, myself included. I don't like it when the cell shading is really overbearing and it doesn't really go well with a lot of back blings, but this one seems to be pretty toned down and I'm happy with it. And then we have the twin skin. This is my favorite female skin in the battle pass. It looks like the Wave Ripper skin combined with Torin as the male version. And then he puts on like these VR goggles and then he turns into this different character. And I think she looks fantastic. And that's what I have to say about her. Then the secret skin, Spider Gwen, they did an incredible job on Spider Gwen. It looks identical to the movie. And not only that, but she does come with an emote that everyone can use. I forgot what it's called. But when you use the emote with her, it goes at 24 frames like the movie. Very cool attention to detail there. Really neat. Also, the secret skin this season is not a collaboration. It is the Herald skin, which is the Flower Queen sort of thing that we saw in the beginning of the last season. So I'm happy she's here. She looks cool. Happy that we don't have too many collabs in the Battle Pass, even though... The collabs that we got in this battle pass are good. I mean, Spider-Gwen's amazing. And then we have Brie Larson as Paradigm. It's just there. It's not something I really necessarily care too much about, but it is something that is there for people that like it. And personally to me, I, I'm not offended by it. Like, I think it's fine. It just isn't going to be something I really necessarily care about. But that's how I feel about it. And also, they actually mentioned this at the very bottom here. There's now a slide kick. When you slide into an enemy, you actually, like, kick them and you boop them away, which is actually pretty cool. No, you cannot do this to teammates. I tried it. I thought that'd be funny if I could do that. It doesn't work that way. And they also mentioned here, too, that Firefly Jars and Shockwave Grenades are not included in competitive. I kind of figured as much. And also, they are now taking a stance on people that use Cronus Zen and Cronus Max, which is like a cheating software, kind of, sort of. I don't actually know. I don't want to go too in-depth with it because I just don't understand it fully. But basically, it's like cheating software. And I'm happy that they're banning it. But, like, why did it take them so long to ban it? Like, and why is it only for competitive? Why can't that be banned for the normal game mode as well? I have no idea, but that's cool that they're actually figuring that out. And that's really it for this season so far. And like I said, my first impressions of it are very positive. 
I'm very happy with this season so far. It's actually really fun. They really diversified it this time. Like last season didn't really feel like there was too much in terms of changes. And I just really did not like the charge SMG and a lot of the other stuff that they were trying to do. But so far with this season already, I'm really enjoying it. The battle pass as well. It feels like it was made for me. Honestly, it's really darn good. And that's what I got to say about this season. I want to know, though, guys, what do you think about this season? Do you think this season's good? Do you think it's bad? Out of 10, what would you rate it? Thank you guys so much for watching the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please let me know with the like, but only if you enjoy the content. Subscribe to the channel if you're brand new. Turn on the bell just to so get all my latest uploads. If you'd like to use me for support a creator, my code is ITF. If you're in the market for some gaming scented candles, may I recommend wickandskull.com. Use code ITF to save yourself 10% off your order. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you all later. See ya. Hey. Man, that I talk video was great. Hey. Almost as great as a thousand dollar steak. What? I wonder how many V-Bucks he can make. Yeah. Probably enough to take a piece of on a date.